not entirely sure, but the, again, this uh, Kanga is really good against melee heroes. Doesn't care about anyone from Team Singapore. Happy to take the soul by an even. Happy to receive all the damage <laughs> that Singapore can throw at him. Just off again, the Kraken Shell and all of the magic redu damage reduction, I mean. And there's a lot of laning potential for Team Vietnam because, again, this is a. Uh, this will start game number two of this best of two series Vietnam versus Singapore. Of course, Vietnam having this Konka, this Tusk, this Drow Ranger, this Venomancer, and this Tide Hunter. And for the side of Singapore, they have the Lina, Centaur War Runner, the Tiny, uh, the Grimstroke, and of course the Chaos Knight as a position one. Yeah. Wow, so. Tusk with the early headdress. I think this is the build already for uh, for most of the support. Standard support build. Standard right? support build for, because for he gets matter. so much. And look at the look at the starting HP of this guy, Tusk. 740. Really hard to pierce through. And of course, well, I guess that it's no longer a problem for for Team Singapore to face up against the Poison Sting because Poison Sting minus region at level one is just 15%. It's almost negligible if you consider your early region because it's also low right? it's already so, been negated yeah it's already been negated right? but of course it's still a big problem when it comes to level four yeah. of this, this gonna be a big difference then when yeah. you reach level four okay but again in, in terms of dota if you win lanes you win games yeah. if you win most of your lanes you get the advantage you capitalize on it you get an easy win yeah that's true that's all that always holds true right oh no Wanna go for the for the chaos knight? The stun connects to the two armor from the Lina. And the Lina would still go. Like first action that was a pretty nice and the tactic was used. First blood drawn by Singapore. This is a good start in there. One for one, but still. Uh, the bounties and the first blood bounty Ooh. will go into the Singapore. Frost arrows, it actually hits. They want to chase forward. Do they have tag team ready? I'm not entirely sure. There will be a little bit of time out in here. We can go. Yeah. As long as, of course, you can go to the arena. But, of course, we now head back to the game. After a 1-1 one -one trade off in terms of kills, it's going to be the Kunkka mid going up against the Tiny. Kunkka is playing in aggressive, trying to trade blows with the Tiny. But Tiny right now, uh, with the three on his hand, of course, it hurts. But Kunkka already has his Tidebringer. So he can trade some of the uh, you know, blows with the Tiny in the yeah. mid. Still looking good for Tiny. Ahead by three. Uh, creep score yeah. over the Kunka. I think I think it's such a good decision for Team Vietnam to for Team Singapore I mean, to match the Centaur War Runner against the uh, Titan. But you don't want your Chaos Knight to face up against this Titan of a hero because you're gonna have a lot of problems. And at least for Team Singapore they even up the trade. Their Centaur is gonna get big as well. So maybe they can run behind the Centaur once the mid game starts right now as the level goes Kunker is gonna be uh, having a good time against a tiny of the middle lane yeah surely of course on to the top lane that is the two versus three versus two aggressive dry lane for uh yeah, vietnam sure. maybe a three versus three we don't know because i think singapore will have to react they can't give the three versus two disadvantage for their team so they will match up have done top lane I have to mention that at level 1, this Lina can really shower down on the Light Strike Array because of the fact that the Mineable is immense for this Lina. And for those who, um, you know, um, isn't updated yet for the draw, for the recent patch, uh, his th uh, her third passive skill was replaced. It's yeah. now called the Multi Shot. Yeah. So no more uh, precision, aura. Yeah, precision Aura for your whole team, for yeah. the range uh, for the range heroes. Yeah. But it's still good. It is. Multi Shot is still good. So that's the reason why uh, the draw skill is Frost Arrow, as, I mean, early. Yeah, I, you know what? If you look at it, it's like. The mechanic is like Black Cannon wherein you can target a tower or maybe another unit and it still spits two other units. But there you go, pretty nice. Ice Shard into Tag Team and he falls. I mean, the Lina falls, but there's going to be a trade-off. Venom Master falls down, Inkspell was used and there you go, he connects to the Drow. Drow is being hounded, Drow is being chased. Three seconds. Inkspell, no, he misses. Ooh, what but the reality rip. There you go, perfect kill, but he was uh, hit by the... Oh, but the poison oh, signal. He's gonna be dead. He's gonna be dead for sure. Oh, denied! He got no denied! Way. He got denied! What a play! Coming up with the Grimstroke, back to back, good plays. And even after 
getting a kill onto the Drow Ranger. They won't lose their Chaos Knight because of the deny, and that is still so much victories for Team Singapore up top lane. Technically, no casualty. No casualty at all. I mean, less casualty for the side of uh, Singapore. Another kill, Ben of Falls, and look at this stuff playing aggressive. But the Chaos Knight wants to Drow. Drow being uh, hit by the Chaos Knight easily. And another death for the uh, for the Drow. Second death, and he will he's just gonna walk. Look at that usage of the stroke of fate. Beautifully done. Of course, the chain stunts in there. A triple kill already for the Chaos Knight. Singapore getting everything that they needed in the top lane. And this is within five minutes. Within just five minutes. Really, Singapore, they want to come back. We did say earlier that whatever it is, or whatever loss they had from the previous game, it's more because of their mistakes. This time, we know that they have the mechanical skill, they have a good draft, they can win over Team Vietnam if they so wish. Just play their cards right. Yeah, I mean the draw is having problems now on, on this on, on the laning phase. Uh, draw was uh, killed twice already within five minutes. So as we can see, it just does. He's playing really aggressive, going for the supports with the use of stack team, capitalizing his early advantage. But here you go, the combo. It's well, it pop likes right. Ari also connects, and it's a dead dust. What a beautiful. Laning stage here for Team Singapore. You have your stunts and they layer it like a beautiful cake up top. You have the reality rift into the into the chaos bolt, right? And of course, with the follow up on the ink swell, and then layered again with the light strike array. That's so much damage that you can do, so much crowd control that if you show yourself up in the top lane, you will be destroyed by Team Singapore. And if you look at the heroes for Singapore. I mean, this three heroes on their dry lane, is it cool on dependent heroes? It is not. It is not. Chaos Ball, yeah, sure, it's mine. Defender, but again, they're going in for the kill. Like, right, Harry, go next. Easy kill for Easy Singapore. Easy kill, indeed. Show yourself, and you'll be dead up top. Especially with the levels that they do have right now. Ooh, that was a promising ice shards, but it will not isolate anyone. No stun the from the turret and the stampede to disengage. And of course, they'll be happy, more than happy, to get away after the TP reaction from the Kunkka was completely shut down by Team Singapore. Well, for me right now, uh, the trial lane, I mean, the aggressive trial lane for Singapore, I mean, for Vietnam, I mean, it's already been lost. It, it is, it is. Really wasted effort here for Team Vietnam. Oh my god, the combo again for Singapore. And they will easily desolate the stuff when the coach will connect, but no follow up damage. And the tiny goes in, and that's a dead Vano once more. Oh my goodness, this is such a, a free, free gold, 382 gold every time for Team Singapore. Every time they see this Venom answer alone, you have to really be careful if you're Team Vietnam. We don't want to give away free kills to Team Singapore, but at this moment, at this rate, every time that the supports go out, they will be killed by any dire team. Even if the good guys have problems, going on for the solo, for the Ooh. support. Light Strike, Ari again, connect with the ice shard. Nah, no follow up this time. Not even a kill onto the group storm, even after a really nice play from Team Vietnam. That's how how behind they are in terms of the farm and in terms of the levels at seven minutes in more than anything else levels matter so much and it seems like team vietnam are losing traction of the early game just because of the kills that singapore did take up top dude seven minutes 12 kills already exactly 10 kills of course for singapore they're still in favor with a three i mean 2k gold advantage over uh, vietnam two thousand I mean, that's a lot of... Oh, he bombed in Inkswell. Will this connect? Yes, sir. Is this going to be an easy kill? No 900. Damage. So tanky. He even popped the stick. I mean, no stick. I mean... Oh, they want to go for their free trade. There comes the kill onto the group stroke. A very nice re response coming out from the Kunkka. And they will be able to punish Singapore at this moment. Now, they want to go for more. Something damage. Nice pullback into the stun. No LSA, however, as they are far behind. Oh, this could be a good target, but nice touch coming out from this game. Stand. The discipline coming out from the team. They want to go for the Venomancer instead. This is really scary for the Venomancer. He needs to be able to kite down the Chaos Knight. The Chaos Knight might have a good extent. What a stun again. Coming out from that Lina. 
just to stop the advance coming out from Team Vietnam. Lee now was able to connect all of his light stack arrays in this game. So accurate. So they were able to escape. I mean, narrow escape problem for the Chaos Knight. He was even, uh, oh my god, he needs to DB out. And there you go. He was able to DB safely. The, oh. the Gale connects. Oh. He was oh, yeah. he was oh. trapped! Oh my goodness! So unlucky! That's so unlucky for the Venomancer. Tough break for the Venomancer indeed. That's the keen optic, however, picked up. With team by the dire side, I think. Mango tree though. <laughs> by Singapore. Okay. I love this item by the way. Mango tree. A lot of usage. Yeah. By the way, all this time because of the fact that this sector is freely farming, doesn't care at all. Look at it. Look at him go with this uh, buckler it's in, it's very hard to for vietnam to kill him but at this point it might be even impossible for team vietnam to kill him especially because of the presence of the stampede and he's al already able to take down a tower less onto the minutes. bottom lane less than 10 minutes tier one tower minutes. down already for uh, vietnam and singapore is on the road Singapore might be able to defend, however, there is the toss going in, and it's very unlikely for the leader to survive. Can he actually do the impossible? He's gonna be chased down. What a nice anchor smash, maximum range for this tight hunter. Almost, but not quite. And again, nice light strike array, but here comes the Chaos Knight going for the Venom Manager that's only level 4 against level 7. He doesn't need even the help of Centaur. Again, this Venom Answer giving away free gold to his opponents, always showing himself in the map. And of course, we know this Venom Answer is so underhearted, he will be taken out of the Scream Strong Apart with the Ink Swell. Can they get the kill? And the follow up, sir. And the toss back in. That's a one dead draw. One dead draw. All of the members <laughs> of Singapore in there. Really angry on this draw. And of course, the outposts, however, it's least, more important. At least they would get the outpost yeah. and the bounty as well. But Drown, it's, it's so. actually smart, not picking up the bounty route first before the outpost so that they will not be spotted. But first, it's a tiny play. Efficiency. Efficiency, yeah. you know. Tiny with a boom hand. Oh, wow, that, that actually is the, one of the perfect items for a for tiny. tiny. <laughs> Look at how, how far you're going to hit. <laughs> really nice. No need to get close yeah. to your target opponent or your uh, target hero. The Chaos Knight going for the armlet of Mordigan. Yeah. Classic armlet place. Oh my god, are you sure about it, good sir? But a good thing, it's only just a one second stun, but X Mark being used. It was really trying to uh, body block the, the Kunkka. And here comes the Lina! Did that to know it will not be there, but the reactor into the stun. And let's say, is it gonna be able to hit? Yes, it will. And in comes the Phantasm. Can they get the kill this time? Stay oh, out of sight. The torrent. A torrent. Can they find him? He's the great they escape. know. They know. They know oh. where the cook is. Oh my goodness. Trying to cut trees. Will he live? Oh, he will. He can cut another three. Nice tree to cut down as well. Oh, he gets away. And he can still cut another one. Got another one, but no, the leader's ah, not chasing. Ah, hello, good sir! Oh, the dodge! The dodge! Oh my goodness! But of course, the rest. Oh! Ah. <laughs> no more, no more. No more escape for you, sir. Did try his best, but it will not be enough. Space As, created. By the way, this Chaos Knight is godlike already. 11 minutes in. This is not a good fight. Good early game for Team Vietnam. <laughs> Yeah, and the TB got cancelled with a Walrus Sponge, with even silence. Hey, he's gotta be dead. He's dead. Yeah, they'll be giving out the kill for the draw. He needs money as well. Yeah. That's a support anyway, so Singapore are really happy with it. The kills, however, on the Kunkka, that's not what you want. It's the Arcane Ring, picked up by Team Singapore. And they're grouping up in the middle lane with a Venomancer, actually everyone from the side of uh, Vietnam wants to go for the tier one tower, but night. Yeah. It's really di difficult to go on. So they need to uh, make haste. They need to make haste to leave. And Thor will put it with one. Follow up, but here comes the Chaos Knight going for the pin once more. But the Stampede being used. Snowball dodge. Still, oh, the Rav you didn't use, man. They fight this guy. Oh, Laguna play to the face. Takes down the tight under. Now there could be a retaliation. Oh, double give more the support Lina. With the flame of the, the fires. With the dragon slave, I mean. And of course, the Laguna played so much gold. 
Go shit. Yeah, just needs to clear out the wave. But here one tower falls! Okay! Oh. He got poisoned by the Venomancer. That probably was an armlet misplay. I think so. It I could think so. Be. Venu is so happy. 946 free gold for him. <laughs> free gold. Okay. That was a gun life stream. That was a gun life Yeah. So won't be using the Lina, but they want to chase the two supports here. Lina is down, but the tiny was hit with the plague wards. Even the um the Gale, the Venomous Gale connects, so look at him go yeah. really slow. So this is what we were talking about. It still is not a free game for Team Singapore, even after their lead. But now the Phantasm is going to be used. They're going to have the Soul Mine in there. The Doom Mine stun, of course, from the Chaos Bolt. But of course, the Snowball in there to save his teammates. Want to move forward. Can they punish this time? The Chaos Knight, no. They want to go for the back lines. But of course, that's going to be the come down first. Can they get more of... Ooh, that really is a scary... Chaos Knight, my goodness, so much damage from that hero, the Tiny. Yeah, the Tiny being hounded, but the Tiny, I mean, the Tiny Dagger was blown out. Look at the damage from the Chaos Knight. Triple kill for the Chaos Knight. And they want more, of course, they can still want to go for this Tide Hunter. One tanky hero, Inkswell, was silent, silenced up as before, but yeah, apparently, Inkswell didn't connect. Yeah. Need to back out. Tiny Hunter is one tanky hero. And no, I figure they don't need to really run down the Tiny Hunter, anyways. They're happy with the trade off. Team Vietnam, they got ahead of themselves. They thought that they will be the ones to dive against Singapore, but little did they know the command of the mid game is still on the side of Team Singapore because of the early game lead that they did have. A few on the outposts. As of course, it will belong to Team Singapore at this point. Yeah, 15 minutes. Outpost plus the bounty will not be able to combo. Thanks for the Phantom's embrace. Grimstroke will just go out safely. We'll see. It's, I mean, Lina is gonna be going for the Ether Lens build. Yeah. So eight, oh, Akila. Now for Singapore, that's actually pretty big. Yeah, it is. To take note, one of the best items out there to pick up. It's decent, I guess, for the armor, mana region, yeah. aura. Who would you give it to? The tiny? Maybe. Yeah, tiny. Yeah, tiny. So agility hero, yeah. I guess. Uh, still give it to the Chaos Knight if you want, but of course, it's there. Kuma's gonna go for the BG. They want to fight early. Yeah, they want to fight early. They need to fight early. They, they want to. They need to siege they, against team. Yeah, uh, that's the plan. That's the one. There's no reason why you go for the draw. Yeah. And look at this. Even when they're behind, they still pose a big threat onto pushing uh, towers. However, they will have to forfeit that one oh, as no. they need to answer this. Tiny oh, already with Shadow Blade. <laughs> nice sentries, man. A very tiny sentry ward in there. That's in club by Team Vietnam. Okay. In club. Will be taken. Space. Two heroes committing on the uh, middle lane for the side of Singapore. So the guys from, I mean, from his teammates for uh, Vietnam will just easily push. Wow. Two tier two tower at the top. No contest. No contest. Bottom lane will it be defended? It seems like the answer is no. As Team Singapore will be happy to take that one. Oh, this could be a good punish. The damage, however, will it be enough? They have three members here. The stamping will be stopped by the ice shards, but of course they will still run away. The soul by in there. Sans will be there for the first time. The Kuna blade is just way too much. Dust will have to buy back. And here goes the Chaos Knight. Is going ham for the throw. But the throw lift. Will the throw lift? No, sir. The one dead throw. Here comes the snowball save, but the Baron's too late. And two heroes down. They will buy the Venom Master will buy back. This time far from over the ice shark! Locks the lead as bad. And another X mark with the armless duckling. So is this gonna work for the side of Singapore? There is nice Moss. Will he be able to toggle? And oh. he was able to toggle! Someone, however, will be there. The stun connects and he goes down as a killing streak. Ended. A four time skill streak ended even. Means that they will have 4k in the bank. By the way, Ravage was there. Yeah, it was there. And U Center was also the pick for the for the Child Hunter, which is also good, by the way. Double buyback. I think that's still a big victory for Team Vietnam, even after losing a lot of gold. I mean, the gold favored Team Singapore, but knowing that they get the kill onto the Chaos Knight, they're pretty happy with it. Vietnam just wished the draw survived that. Yeah, that's true. 
it's gonna be a uh, much more you know exciting in Vietnam in the draw list but still they'll still take it yeah 23 to 9 and a lot of gold actually in favor of Team Singapore at this point. And for sure, if you are Team Vietnam, you should be scared about the lineup of Team Singapore. But you still have to understand that you have so much siege potential that you should not be giving away map control at this point versus Singapore. Yes, sure, Singapore might have the lead in terms of kills, might have gotten the early game, but that doesn't mean that you your mid game is compromised already. If you play your cards, cards right, you will be able to push. Good items for the Centauri. You already had the early fight. But the thing is, uh, Vietnam is, you know, they can still stand to fight against the side of Singapore, but X Mark, they have vision, they have detection. Okay, here comes the throw. What evil gust is it, man? A pretty nice ice shard block, but here comes the boat, but it didn't connect to anyone. Here comes the cavalry for the side of Singapore. Light strike on one. Here comes Chaos Knight again, going, uh, Go to go with the dust. They have double damage rune onto this one, but the poison over hits onto two. Man, of course, Laguna Blade already used. Can they take on the draw? Yes, they can. Now in comes the Chaos Knight. The Light Strike already connects onto the Venom Answer, and this should be a kill. The double damage rune onto this Gopta is not gonna be enough. Oh! Now they can move on the fray, but of course, the Phantasm will be used. The Cleaves are hurting so much. The two much stuff. Fight the damage! The combo coming up from TV, and now they might turn this around. They're taking so much time. The use that they're gonna be there. Can they take him down? Now they're taking their time, Center Warrior goes down, and what a comeback from Team Vietnam. What a recovery to say the least for Team Vietnam as they take out four. Slowly but surely, Vietnam is coming into this game. We oh. got the team fight. The gold dip, I mean the experience uh, ex uh, changes, or the game for the side of Vietnam, they favored on that part. That was 2000 that they got, and all of a sudden, only a, oh, they get the lead even less than a thousand gold in just one fell swoop. This is how potent the lineup of Team Vietnam is during the mid game. Guess what? You know the inks well. It got um, you know removed by the use by the tide. Exactly. So really smart, huh? Really smart indeed. Use the inks. Use the use effort to stop the inks well and get the kill. And what a play that was! The torrent into. The Ravage, you know, um, by lore-wise, the the Kunkka is angry at the Titan, you know? <laughs> but this time they're friends. They are friends. They are friends. They want to fight for their friends. Yeah, yeah, they're friends. <laughs> of course, of course. Link Dagger for the Tiny after the Shadow Blade. Okay, so... Most, I mean, most tiny players in this meta goes for the SNY since they rely with the right-click damage for yeah. the Tiny. But this time they will go for the burst. I think Shadow Blade also is a good starter item, at least. But it seems like Team Vietnam have read this like a book. They know that the Shadow Blade will be up soon. And they place Sentry Wards in a very good um, spot so that they can be ready for this tiny Shadow Blade. Oh, yeah. Going for the Blink as well, Blink Shadow Blade. This is such a classic, maybe a throwback to two years or uh, a year and a half ago. He wants to, you know, initiate fights if you're going for that kind of build. Yeah. So if you blink in, you toss avalanche and anything, and you can, you know, just go out. See, with a tag team. Look at that! So much damage onto this Roshan, and I think the Team Singapore cannot react to this. It's gonna be free Roshan. Oh my out. goodness! Of course, with all of the plague wards in there, the tag team is oh! really scary. Okay. All of two oh, squads no, on spot. Bad. Well, no, you got the game, Sackman, for the follow. Goldmark with the avalanche, being controlled by the Yule Scepter. Here comes the Sampi, Laguna Blade, but it misses, man. No doubt at all. There is going to be the snowball. They were trying to reach out. They found the one. They find the Centaur. Centaur is down. Oh. And that's the Ice Shards once again. They slow down the game. The, the, the poison is just way too much, of course. Team Vietnam, fight three. And no casualty. No casualty indeed. That was really, really lucky for the Tide Hunter to not be clipped by the Soul Bind so that the, the silence wasn't there. And he was able to pop the Ravage because of that. Man, you'll step third Tide Hunter. Let's go. Oh my goodness. Even the Vampire fans in there too kind of help him. The Look at the uh, look at the HP that he receives back when he pops the Aqua Smash. He's uh, at full health once again. Yeah, of course. Look, with the blast, with the blast, vamp uh, vampire oh fangs. Two hundred fifty vision as well. What? 
what a last pick from Team Vietnam. Knows exactly how they want to play this tight hunter. Solar Crest. He, 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 got, he got it. He has it. And if you have not been playing Dota 2 for quite a long time and you get back after the Outlanders update, you will be surprised how far the supports can get. At 23 minutes, there's, there's Pipe available on the Tusk because they don't need to put their money on the wards anymore. The only it's thing free. That, yeah, the only thing that they are uh, going to be needing gold is for the sentries yeah. and for the smoke. That's it. That's it. Oh, man. And, and the draw is now back on top three. Wow. Just a big, again, mistake mistake from Team Singapore, just like it. Actually, it's not much that of a mistake. It's just that Team Vietnam are really outplaying Team Singapore. It's something that we call like a like a forced mistake wherein you force your opponents to commit the mistakes not necessarily because they are they messed it up but because you force them to look at the tight hunter plays yeah. playing playing aggressive he can box out anyone from the side of uh, Singapore exactly he's the main bodyguard for the course in the draw so Singapore is avoiding a, uh, a fight but they need oh, to defend my god solar crest so much physical damage coming off from Team Vietnam, of course. Anybody that shows themselves will be bursted down. And guess what? Tier 3. Free for Vietnam. There will be a bit of fortification for Team Singapore, but I think that they will still push through. They have so much physical damage that they are able to take out the Tier 3 tower in the bottom lane. They have the Ages of the Immortals, so they don't care. I mean, they don't mind to go for the objectives here. And even the draw, okay, I'll just hit the buildings, I'm fine. Even the gusted. Yeah. They gusted the uh, Chaos Knight. Look at that, so much aura. <laughs> Gonna go for it, like a heads up go ship play, but of course nobody will be hit. They have the threat of the Ravage, they have everything that they needed. Oh, they will go for the haste play, but oh no, that is really, really bad for this tiny. And they will go for the fight, Ravage was blocked. And the poison Nova over everyone. Use of this fight. Where's the kill? Where's the grace? Tiny bone back, and they're still bombing the EEG. A three month slug coming up from the torrent. Here comes round number two for the Drow Ranger. The bolt is shot in there for the slug connects. Can they get more out of this? I think that Team Singapore are winning this fight. The torrent connects once again, but no more casualty. That's two for one, two for five trade. I would say after the buybacks as well from Team, C Team Singapore, so they hang on at least. And, and he can, oh, that was really scary for the Lina, but he survives. Well, yeah, they still got, got I mean, they got the tier 3 plus a Rax and the two buybacks. Oh, well, yeah, still good. And immediately they go for the outposts as they will get the bounty routes soon. Singapore punishing team Vietnam at that clash. I want to see the fight recap at this point. I don't know if it will be shown to us. But again, that was a buyback committed by Team Singapore, so they clipped the lead from 7k down to 2,000 now for Team Vietnam. So I would guess that even after the buybacks, they got ahead of the economy since it was a 5 for 2 trade-off. Well, if only uh, the drone had, you know, like a BKB, yeah. he can you know, still stand destroying the arrows, fight, man, man fight his way out. Should be looking oh. towards like a four staff or a hurricane bike. I think he already has a bike. Oh yeah. yeah so maybe he, not. Maybe it. Uh... He used the pike for the um, the tight hunter earlier. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Of course. And maybe yeah. I, I agree. The BKB should be the next item of choice for this draw ranger. Even the Kunga already is a BKB. Yeah. That is true. Oh telescope. I like that item as well. Because it gives you like a cooldown reduction, 50% cooldown reduction the, on your scan, which is also important. And guess what? Bro already has a Mindbreaker. I really hate that uh, oh. that item, but it got nerfed. It got nerfed at least. Instead of 4 seconds uh, stun, I mean uh, silence, silence, it's just 2 seconds now. Yeah. But still, it's a pretty good item. That, that's so, such a weird item. It is I mean, weird. Why would why would you give that? Why would you have the chance for that, right? Oh, by the way, telescope not only lowers the cooldown of the scan, it also gives attack and cast range 125 increase for nearby allies. Sick, really neat uh, item. 
So Singapore, however, takes the Tyrant's Liver. It's Vampire Fangs available for the Tide Hunter, which allows him to really get all of these lifesteals. Life steals. Night Vision, 215. For Team Vietnam, though. I like that, too. Lina immediately. TB out for safety. It's, it's really good for, for defending your defending your um, your base right your, or your structures you get the you regen oh, this is nice however having the bkb on the center warner gives team singapore a lot of fight potential during the upcoming clashes because it allows the, the it allows the center warner to freely hit and freely land the stuns the damage from the double edge and of course be that very pesky hero against opponents with the retaliate as well racking up that with the bkb really nice and he can really tank up the multi shots right yeah, multi shots yeah Konka already bottled the uh, double damage through oh my god the damage output but the draw is in trouble gusted a lot he pulls it but uh, here comes the cavalry for the side of the account grabbing it got flipped the chaos knight got stunned and here goes the snowball smaller sponge it's the chaos that got desolated immediately. What a timing on that Ravage, really clipping that chaos night. And that meant that the members of Team Vietnam will be happy to see. However, Team Singapore, 41 seconds on the chaos night means that they have oh. like a minute of uh, free, free defense because the Ravage will not be available for quite a bit. However, the loss on the chaos night will have the Roshan available for Team Vietnam to take if they do find it. It's gonna be respawning in maybe 11 seconds, then afterwards, two seconds I mean, and afterwards it's just a free, a little bit of time. So we'll see. At least it's not that punishing for Team Singapore. It's not actually a quick respawn. It's so, not. Yeah. not. They only need to wait for a couple more win minutes before the uh, Roshan responds. But still, 21 to 31. 30 minute game. Yeah. It's not as one-sided as compared to the previous game because we know there look at that guardian dreams now available for the venomancer to use 11 deaths for the venom 11 deaths but after that <laughs> he got the, he got the uh, talent for gold 90 gpm talent yeah. level 10 and also that kill onto that uh, <laughs> that's true 957 gold bounty for the uh, godlike streak for the chaos knight really juicy my oh my Oh, BKB instantly popped by the Konka. And there's no way for you guys to catch even the first tap to use for the Tiny. Takes well, Phantom's Embrace, Ooh. and they even use the Stampede just to make sure that they'll ex escape. At this point, teams are starting to commit their ultimates just for the defense. And I like it because it allows the team to really just wait for the opportune moment to wait for when to clash. You don't want to make the mistakes at this point. Oh, Yule Scepter again coming from the Tide Hunter. It's being slowed up and another four stop. But the Walrus Punch Connect, Poison Nova even used Thoris and the Go Ship and Bang! Chaos Knight out of the equation. And the side of Vietnam can go high ground once more to go for another objective. Oh, wow. That is such... We were talking about not committing the mistakes. And all of a sudden, Team Singapore did commit a costly one. Might lose uh, ranks on top lane, maybe one of the, the melee or the range. Because this game of Knight will not be buying back. It's gonna be a set of racks even for Team Vietnam to take. No, they will transfer to the middle because it's the better decision. Look at the initiation from the dust. He will be punched with a stun. But this time the stone oh. is there. The buyback force with just few seconds in their left. That is a bad decision from the Chaos Knight. But then the the but he's got the damage out for like strike on two. I think the buyback is so worth it for the side of Singapore. They want the side hunter. Side hunter will just offer his life. They'll go get to kill me. I don't care. I'm just gonna go for my teammates. And the Kunka survives with a BKB TP. Oh my goodness. That, I cannot judge if that was a worthy buyback or whatever. But you know what? Seconds. Only, seconds away. Just five, maybe five seconds before surviving any. Had to buy. You had to buy Bob. They need to take Roshan. They need to take definitely take Roshan this time. But of course, Vietnam have their own set of buybacks to spend. They know. They still have the Ravage. They can buy back on this Tide Hunter and take control of this Roshan as well. Spider legs. Wait, Team Vietnam. They need to back out now. 
They need the bat out. Oh, Real Madrid, look at this chaos tonight, going aggressively, while Walrus Punch, even if, was it the game? They no. Won. Stampede, throw it in the ghost ship, no, it didn't connect. Connect, indeed. That was x marks spot, I think. Yeah. It really... I thought it was a kick. I <laughs> thought it was a kick. It was a mini kick in there. Oh, they find this. Oh, nice dodge. Of course, the start connects. The X will still materialize this, but they will take down the Grimstroke. No buyback on that hero. A minute without the Grimstroke. A minute of five versus four around the Roshan pit, and you don't want that to happen at all. Yeah, there's no way for um, uh, Singapore to contest. Uh, Roshan at this point because Aeos Knight doesn't even buy back, same for the other course, so they just need to play it safely. But how do you play safely against this team? Look at this spider legs actually given to the Drow Ranger, so free pathing for, for a few seconds and then also unobstructed movement. This is scary, however. Crimson Guard available for this Drow Ranger for this Tide Hunter means that he is very hard to take down. The, uh, the item timings for uh, Vietnam. Butterfly for the Drow, a Silver Edge, actually for the Tiny. Tiny already has Silver Edge. Good for the Tide Hunter. For the Tide Hunter, if they manage to reach. If they manage, I mean, if, if he managed to reach out to the, the, the Tide Hunter. Yeah. And Tide Hunter will be happy to pick that instead of, oh, instead of the other members. The whole damage root for the Drow. Look at him go. Easy tier 3 to blink in Walter Sponge. Oh, the dodge! Nice noble dodge, but it's nasty in views. Oh my god! The noble Laguna Blade, but no damage at all, No man. damage at all, and now they stun up many members of Team Vietnam, but the Poison Nova really is painful. Even the Cup, even the Chaos Knight, he's having troubles for it, now he's being chased out by a support. Oh, oh, what a four stab, even from the teammate. But now, on the back line, they're gonna go for the Drow Hyper. The Tiny might be punished because of this Spider Legs and views. The Tiny potential is there. What a nice shot coming from this team by Team Vietnam. And oh, the Rose, forced into the corner, taking on the kill. And the advantage goes again for Vietnam. He just was off. No, he missed the light strike and the damage output from the Drow. And the Centaur will buy back immediately. Or else it's gonna be a Vegas. Three versus four, two members of Team Singapore without the buyback, but they're already losing their bams in the middle. So oh much over there, there's the reality rip. No stun just yet. It comes to Ravage though. They catch the Chaos Knight. Can they punish him? Two months stun in there as well. Now, can they finally take on Chaos Knight? Though it will not be the case. Crits on the face of the Draw Ranger. The snowball to the left side. They want to kill the Grimstroke this time. Maybe even punish him. But the Chaos Knight should be going up against two. That's the Corrin in into the Ghost Ship, but it will not be enough. The tankiness of Team Singapore is really promising at this point. They're losing their base, but they are not losing their heroes at this point this time. And think no, no draw ranger for the right flank potential, but still, Vietnam owning the, uh, the side of Singapore at this fight. Man, they did hang on, but boy, did they lose their base in exchange for some of the kills. They will buy some time, but they will have to defend against Megas. Oh, look at the glass. Going in with a BKB soul by double Chaos Bolt stun. But where's the follow? Where's the damage gone from Singapore? They want to fight. Another reality was used. And the snowball going for the Grim Stroke. Another four stop, but he still connects. And they want the Grim Stroke. While response, oh, he's dead and out of this fight. On this fight, indeed, look at how tanky Vietnam is with the ground buff and, of course, all of the region coming up from the Guardian Greaves and their innate attackiness. You have to take note, their base is in trouble. That's gonna be the ancient for Team Dire going down Singapore. Really fought a good fight, but they're losing this game. Look at the base being pummeled down by Team Vietnam with their creeps, the mega creeps in there. They're being controlled, it will take a lot of time, but still, Vietnam takes the game, takes the 2-0.